It's actually a mathematical question. The problem is, how do I divide up a volume into shapes of equal size using the minimum amount of stuff? Now, why does that matter to a bee? Because that stuff is wax, and wax is extremely valuable to the bees. So, what shape should it be? Should it be squares, or should it be triangles? You can see it can't be circles, because circles, when you pack them together, leave gaps, so they're not very efficient. Or could it be that hexagons are the most efficient? Well, that is actually a simple-sounding question with a very complicated answer. It's one of the oldest questions in mathematics. It's got a name, actually. It's called the Honeycomb Conjecture. Mathematicians have worked on it for thousands and thousands of years, and it's only recently that the Honeycomb Conjecture was proved. Here's one of the proofs. A huge paper. Pages and pages of complex mathematics. And it turns out that hexagon is the most efficient shape. The bees knew what human mathematicians didn't know for thousands of years. Actually, I'm using no in quite a loose sense there. There's still a great deal of debate amongst biologists as to how the bees actually do it. Do they build hexagons from scratch using some kind of instinctive behaviour? Or do they, in fact, build a simpler shape, perhaps circles, and then because the wax heats up, it can deform, and the laws of physics themselves change the circles into hexagons? That's still not agreed upon. But what is agreed upon by the mathematicians and the bees is the hexagon is the most efficient shape. So that just shows you it's a beautiful thing. Mathematics is the universal language. And when you look at a perfect honeycomb, you see a shadow of that language of mathematics made real by bees.